So thank you, of course, for being on here. Um, we went to the It Works University um, Friday and Saturday, and Friday night was for um, triples and above. So it was really cool to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Pam and Mike and um, some of the, the you know, Ambassador Diamonds that we all kind of know, love, and trust. Um, you know, they say surround yourself with the people you want to be like, right? <laughs> so, um, Eat all the candy cane. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're just, I just wanted to recap over some of the stuff we learned um, from the university. And, you know, I had a lot of aha moments. The, okay. the Saturday events were very, um, your typical party pad, inspirational tips from the top sort of a thing that we have at all of our corporate events, um, which, is, which is all very good. And, and a lot of it is we heard over and oh, we've heard over and over and over and over again. Now, the thing is, is us as leaders, I could have very easily said, Bleh, I've heard this. I've heard it, I've heard it, I've heard it, but the fact of the matter was is that I was there, my team was there. So that's going to be the theme of this, guys, is your team, the speed of your team and the speed of the pack is going to be the speed of the leader. Um, and that was a huge aha moment in the face. Pam got real with us on Friday night, and I was like, oh, snap. Um, and, and I loved it. I really did love it because um, – you know, so also often we're like, you can do it. It's going to be amazing, which is true. Everyone and anyone can do it, but until you believe um, it's not going to happen. So no one telling you is going to generally make that big of a difference if that's all we're telling you over and over and over again. So the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. Um, should they talked about intentional focus. So you can do anything, but you can't do everything. We've all heard it before. So where do you invest your time as a leader? Um, so first and foremost, you're going to spend one third of your time investing um, on you. And that's your own business. So that means you reaching out to people, you messaging, you doing rap parties, you rapping people, things of that sort. Um, so we're also going to talk about goals here briefly. So where are you investing your time? They asked, are you investing your time doing personal development nonstop? Because personal development should be what Pam from Pam's mouth should be done bright and early in the morning or late at night. Whenever you should be put, have potential to be messaging people or in conversations or wrapping people or doing parties, that shouldn't be a time for you to read an hour an hour long. Um, so, you know, personal development is amazing and it, it, it's what got me here. Um, and it's what got many of those people in that room to where they were at, but they did it in times when they couldn't be doing income producing activities. So um, they all said there was, there was an ambassador in there that said she went presidential in 13 months. And once they hit presidential, they started to try to train their way to the top. And, and what they did is they did all personal development and then tried to get their team trained and doing personal development too. And she said it took her three years to go to ambassador from then. And she asked, she asked Pam, she said, why? Why is this? And, and they went back and looked at all their statistics. And when they went presidential in 13 months, on average, they were enrolling 5.3 customers a month and 3.2 distributors a month in that 13 month time period. When they stopped, and went and bass went in there and stopped after presidential their averages during that three month time period was one distributor a month and it was like 2.3 customers a month so guys steps to success 100 percent um so they were they realized they had stopped doing what they were asking their team to do you can't ask your team to do things that you yourself don't want to do that being said it's so important to show your team you're working show them. I wrapped somebody today. I look at, I, these are the 10 messages I just sent this past hour. Who wants to see screenshots of a conversation I'm having? Show them that you're working and how to work. Um, so the next one third of your time is going to be spent with your, your tens list. If you don't have 10 distributors yet on your team, that's fine. Um, once you get to a leadership level, you're going to come to find that there's people that want your time but aren't putting action behind it to get your time. So you have to come with, uh, with like a tens list almost every month. 
And who's your 10 people that really have the potential to get going in this? Um, I'm going to come back to this here shortly. The next one third of your time is going to be spent leading your team, the rest of your team, group stuff, um, like, a, like a, a group team Zoom or a, a you hopping on one of our Zooms and encouraging your team to do that, answering their questions, um, reaching out to them and saying, hey, do you need a post of the day? Hey, you know, can I help you respond to those people that liked this photo of yours or things like that? Um, so that's where, this is called the game plan. Um, this is now in the eSuite documents as well, I believe. Um, and it's, it's really amazing. So the next thing they went over is our hourly rate. Um, so take your last paycheck and write down how much your last paycheck was. And then you're going to divide it by the number of hours you worked that month on your business. So for me, it's about a 40 hour work week. Um, and that's what my hourly rate was worth. I'm not going to give you my hourly rate. We make more than the average triple diamond. We've been blessed and we've worked hard and we have amazing teammates like you guys, of course. But um, it, it made me think a lot. And they said, you know, is you is it worth it for you to maybe get someone to come and prep meals or, or to get someone to come and um, clean your house once a month? Um, and that's maybe not something that's feasible for you guys right now. That's okay. But that also think about that hourly rate that you just did and say, when you spend an hour with somebody that wasted your time, that said they were going to X, Y, Z is keeps giving you excuses. You just wasted that much money in an hour. Okay. So really be intentional who you work with and those ones that want to waste that hourly w wage of yours you have to give them just group time. Um, and and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to, to put it out there. This is how I'm going to be running my business now. Um, you know, there's a lot of people, and, and this is the boyfriend analogy they gave. Do you have people on your team that you're like dragging and pulling and you're like trying to keep them around and it's just exhausting, it's draining? First and foremost, you're wasting your hourly rate. It's like having that boyfriend of yours or girlfriend for the guys that are on the thing that you kept trying to keep around and it just was not worth your time in the end. And you keep trying to drag and keep them around and if you keep trying to do that, you don't end up meeting your husband or you don't end up meeting your wife, the one that really matters. So same with your business. If you're dragging and pulling and keeping these people around and it's excuse after excuse after excuse and you're spending so much time and you're worrying about it, you're wasting time on your business. You're not going to find your husband, your rock star in the business. You're not going to find your wife, your rock star in this business. So that's, I'll be revamping my tens list, guys. Every week I'm revamping my tens list and the people I'm going to work with. If they aren't participating on the race, race. no, not right now. If they're not participating on the team pages, they're, and, and guys, I take that. I do take that. Um, if I'm not getting messages from them, I mean, I make my, if they're not hopping on Zooms right now, there's some leaders that aren't on this Zoom that said they were going to be. Talk is cheap. Right? It's like a boyfriend that says, okay, after this is done, go over there. It's like a boyfriend that says, but I, but no, no, I do. I do love you. I want to stay with you. And then they go and cheat on you. Or then they go and hang with their buds when they said they were going to take you out on a date or that sort of a thing. That's what the people that don't show up are. Um, so revamping your list every so often as well. Um, so I appreciate you guys being on here, of course. So, um, so when you're spending the one third of the time on yourself, you want to write down each and every month the goals for yourself. What rank do you want to be? What income do you want to make that month? Write that down every single month. So what we're going to be doing on the second day of every month is doing a Zoom. And that will be open to um, everybody. I'll be putting it out to the whole team. That will be my group time. Um, and we're all going to write down our rank and I'll, I, I'm going to leave from the front and tell people what my goal is, what my monthly income goal is. How many people am I going to blitz?
How many people am, go am I going to wrap this week? This is weekly goals. Then you're going to go stop. Then you're going to go over your weekly goals, and that's going to be how many people am I going to blitz this week? Three. Stop. Please behave. Yes. How many people? Go. Go. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm going to snort some confians in a second. <laughs> um, I have boom in right now, which I should have totally put in, like, chill or something. So we're at this monthly thing. We're going to go over our goals for the month, which is going to be rank and income, and putting that out to the universe. And then we're going to go over the goals for the week. So I'm going to start with me because I'm going to lead from the front, and I'm going to say my goal is to blitz this many people a week. This my goal is to wrap this many people. I um, My goal is to sign up this many distributors, and my goal is to sign up this many loyal customers. And the reason why, you guys know the plaque they put above football stadiums? Or like, you know, when you're in the lock, the guys are in the locker room and there's like a plaque above the locker room. And as they go out to the field, just before the game, everybody gets up and like taps it because that's their goal. That's their like mantra type of a thing. So putting your goal out there and writing it down and having it up somewhere to where you're looking at it and claiming it every day, that's what we're doing. Go over there and get it. <laughs> um, so having it written down is very, very important. Um, and again, they said, remember the speed of the leader is the speed of the team. If your team is not enrolling people, it's likely that you aren't either. If your team is not blitzing people, it's likely that you aren't either. If your team is not wrapping people, likely that you aren't either. And you got to show them that that's what you're doing. Um, Pam stood up and she goes, how many of you in this room have your 10 LCs from this contest we just put out? And about three people stood up and she ripped us a new one. She was pissed. She was like, you guys are our leaders. You guys are the top 0.5% in this company and you didn't get excited over this. So it's time to get excited when they announce these things on the corporate calls every Sunday. It's time to get excited, even if you don't like cruising, to be to, to promote this promotion for cruising. Um, it's designed to help build your business. So going back to your, t your tens list, who are you gonna work with the most? Um, now that you know your hourly rate, you wanna be intentional with who you're investing your time with. So take some time to develop your top 10 team members you'll invest in. Now know when you get a team member that is ready to run on their own, that you don't have to put, keep them on that list. I have people that know what they're doing now. They know they don't need me. What I'm going to say is the same as what they're going to say, what Casey's going to say, what Alicia's going to say, what Stephanie Dunn's going to say. So know that you don't have to spend all your time with just this person. So um, think of the people that have the potential and the, to run with you and, and work with those people. If you don't have 10 right now, that's fine. Work with five, work with two, work with one. Um, and work until you get 10 people you can work with on your team. So have that list in front of you and work with it for the week, um, for your time. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, who are you working with on your team? Um, so with your tens list, your top 10, you're gonna let them know you've developed your game plan for the month and you selected them. So Pam, pretty much said like you reach out to people and say, hey, I am going for a presidential this month and I want you to come with me. Are you ready to commit? If so, I wanna work directly with you very closely this month. And if they say yes, then you take them on. Um, if they say start giving excuses, no's, whatever, move on to the next and put them with your, your group people that you're gonna work with. Um, do, 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 do. Mom, I'd recommend setting up like pregame calls with your leaders um, on Sundays or Mondays. Now I'm again cho choosing Mondays because every Sunday it sounds like they're going to start doing a weekly sort of incentive. So at least on Monday we can all work together to figure out the game plan. Um, and it's going to be very, very quick. Like this is my goal for the week. This is how I'm going to get there. This is what I'm going to do. Um, because other than that, it's, you know, it's just busy work and we want to spend our time on income producing activities. So spend 30 minutes a week with those top 10. Um, 
stay on time and stay consistent with the calls, um, and, and set an accountability piece. If, if people don't show, then, then um, you know, that's a, that's a good indication that they're not interested in being in that list with you anymore. Um, you can go over their game plan with them as well. And then ask, oh, a good thing to do would be to ask them the successes. Like, what, what are you proud of that you achieved this week? So um, next week we'll start doing this. Um, you know, what are we all each proud of that we achieved this week? Um, where do you feel that you could have improved? And what is your plan for this week to make that happen? Um, I'm just going to read the action plan notes on the bottom. Be intentional when planning your calls. It's recommended to keep them the same time and day every week. Hold them back to back. This will help you stay focused and manage your time and investment better. Okay, no more after that, okay? <laughs> um, and then you have a weekly recap in here as well that everybody can go over. So... Blitz, wrap, repeat, that's what our, our game, that's what the name of the game, right? So who did you blitz? Where are you going to blitz? Wrapped, how many people did you wrap? Um, how many people, did distributors did you sign up? How many loyal customers did you sign up? Wrap party scheduled for this week. Greatest accomplishments, this is how you can go over like your game plan. So greatest accomplishment. Uh, accomplishment since the last call most grateful for or proud of what I wanted to get done but didn't challenges that I'm facing this week opportunities available um, and different things I'd like to discuss on the call so you can use these to work with your your team calls um, to do, to do, to do. and then a third one third of your time leading your team um, and that can be done in like group rap extravaganzas or one team one missions or a team meeting. Um, and they recommended again keeping your team meeting at the beginning of the month after all the um, announcements have been made. You know how like on the first of every month they're usually like good bonuses are here or cruise or whatever. Um, so I'll be doing a second of the month meeting um, and then other things such as doing like a weekly wrap party for your team um, or a bi-weekly and keeping it consistent. They, they also stated, again, you can't ha not have people at this party. You gotta push to have people too if you expect your team to bring people. But the more consistent you stay with this wrap party, the longer, the better it will get each week. Um, so to sit down, plan out your month, and make it happen. They, they wanted us to do more one team, one missions as well. Um, June is pretty scarce. So if you're in Tucson with me, we'll, we'll be doing a, I believe June 23rd is what we're looking at, at the Burger Center for a one team, one mission. Go to your um, www.myitworksevents.com, guys, and check maybe every Sunday before your team call to see what's going on for the month. Um, see if you know people there, invite them, invite your team, let your team know. Um, and again, when you're doing these team calls and team appointments, making sure you share your personal goals, putting it out there to let them know, like I'm holding myself accountable too. Um, and then having them do the same, have them write down their rank, their income. How many people do they want to blitz? How many people are they going to wrap? How many people are they going to sign up this week? That sort of a thing. So um, that's pretty much what we went over there. I really, really enjoyed the boyfriend analogy because there's a lot of, a lot of people um, that I just, I, I know could do so amazing, but it's just time and time again, they don't show up. They don't participate in group, like the Ruby to Cruise group. They aren't reaching out to their team, but they tell me they want it. Um, so and I'm not speaking to one particular person, believe me. Um, there's probably a good couple hundred on this list that I could um, put. And I want it more for them, and it's just like a bad boyfriend that if I keep spending my time on that person, not that I don't love them, I'm not going to find my husband, my rock star in the business. So I really, really liked that. I'm going to open it up for some Q&A. 
for some ideas. Um, I really like for all of you today, tonight, right now, if you can, write down what rank you want to be this month. Write down the income, what you want your paycheck to be, your goal for how many people you're going to blitz, and your goal for how many people you're going to sign up. Um, I'll tell you right now, my goal this month is to get Joey back to pay double diamond. He has not been paid double diamond. He's got the volume there. He's got an elephantitis leg, which means he's strong in one leg. For those of you who have that and complain about it, Pam had another really great um, analogy. She goes, you guys are – who has an elephantitis leg? Who is driven crazy by this damn elephantitis leg? And, you know, people, I don't, I don't have one, but people were standing up. I, I know I have people on my team that have them. And she said, okay, well, if you don't like it so much, why don't we just give it to someone else? <laughs> Let's, we'll just give that leg to someone else. So be grateful for you having an elephantitis leg, for you having one leg that's strong um, and not having it there at all. Um, so I will, um, I'm gonna unmute every, actually, you guys, if you guys don't know how to unmute yourself, just put it in the chat and I'll unmute you. If you have questions, um, my goal for the month is getting Joey back to double. Um, I want our paychecks combined to be um, 17 grand for the month. Um, it's doable. We've almost been there before. And um, there's things we need to get. We just, we've got some health stuff going on. We've got, we don't own a house yet. We've got big dreams, big goals. Um, Joey's dad's very sick. So we have some things to pay for through them. Um, I plan on blitzing 25 people a week. Um, and I plan on wrapping five people this week. I have one wrap party already scheduled. I already have one wrap appointment already scheduled for the week. Um, I'm going to enroll five distributors this week because there's a promo. And I'm going to enroll four loyal customers this week. So that's my goal. I'm sticking to it. Um, it's written down for me to look at it. So I challenge you to do the same and let your team know your goals. So let's open it up to Q&A now. Anyone have questions on the BOGO kit, who they should be reaching out to, how to reach out, um, that sort of a thing. I see there's a chat. Please. Let me see the chat. Where did it go? Okay. Oh, okay. Most importantly, guys, it is, is it, import, it is important to remember that our team's not going to do what we aren't, so show them what we are doing. When we enroll someone, when we're blitzing, when we're rapping, when we're repeating, when we're talking with someone, um, I swear people must think I love selfies. I do not love selfies. <laughs> Anyone want to share their personal goal or paycheck or anything like that? Put it out there for the universe so you have to do it. <laughs> the sweating, gross. <laughs> All right, I'll start. So for the month of June, Tommy and I um, want to be double diamond. So I'll be double diamond. He'll be emerald. And we're going to do it. Awesome. How many cruise points do you want this week? Um, that's hard to say because I transferred them. People, yeah. So, but you also like have to have a goal. Get four gives you cruise points. So, yeah. Well, this week, as far as rubies, um, how many DTs do you want to enroll this week? Um, at least three more. You got one today. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> How many LCs you gonna enroll this week? Um, five. So I already have five for the month. At least five more. Awesome. <laughs> Sid, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anyone else want to throw it out there? It's okay if you don't. Okay, I'll go. Okay. Um, by the end of June, I want to have Morgan at Emerald. Um, and then 
by the end of June, I want to have at least two more rubies and Samantha and Tara on my team. Um, and then I need to start wrapping people. I'm embarrassed and will not say how many times I've actually wrapped somebody in person. Okay. I've done just about everything on Facebook. So I really want to try to start getting myself out there belly to belly. Because I think that's kind of where I'm at is I need to start doing that to go. Yeah, you know, belly to belly, it's you're you don't it seems like you get less but when you do something belly to belly with someone it's a you seal it you seal the well i have a distributor who's signing up next week when her husband gets paid and she was one of the few belly to bellies i've done yeah so i would challenge you to to get a day together for a team wrap party and invite everyone over start reaching out to people to get um say hey like what are you doing wednesday like we have ours wednesday I'm going to blitz my neighbors. Like I'm making special labels, guys, and I'm gonna. I'm. We just moved, so I'm gonna go to my neighbors. I'm gonna say, Hey, Wednesday night, we're doing some free samples. Um, I would love for you to come over and just meet, you know, meet us and hang out, have some wine, and and um, you know, try some freebies from our company, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and go from there. I mean, I'm gonna take my kids. It's gonna be fun. Um, it's gonna be scary, but what's the worst they can say? Like. I'll be pretty dang pissed if someone in this neighborhood goes presidential diamond and I never went and talked to them. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome goals. I love it. It's like selling Girl Scout cookies. Is yeah, always great yeah exactly. Cookies. People, you know how many people told us no when we were selling Girl Scout cookies? How could you say yeah. no? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to share? Tommy. Tommy wants to share his goals. Oh. <laughs> we just did our group goals, so I think it Yeah, you said group goals. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, again, I, again, definitely I would plan a, a, a sample party and make yourself accountable for getting people there. Um, tonight, no message like crazy for this DT kit. I'm also going to be messaging like crazy and making my labels for this uh, team wrap party on Wednesday. Um, I can't have no one show, you know, I got to lead from the front. So, um, I'm probably going to go to my neighbors and say that too. Like I cannot, I have to have people here. Like, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot to my team. Can you please help me? <laughs> so, <laughs> but, all right, guys, if there's no last minute questions. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen, there is on the team page, um, a how to work out your business checklist. Um, for me personally, I have a hard time focusing and I get sidetracked easily with messages coming in from teammates. So I, I've been working down that list each day to get more done more effectively, more income producing activities. And then I pick back up where I left off the following day. So some people are, have laminated it as well. Um, so that's an option that you can use as well. So that's in the files of the Family Body Rock team page. But... I'm gonna go oh, ahead. For the um that document, the game plan document, I've seen it before, and I think if, if you go into documents on the left, it's under like the leadership thing, right? Or it's just called game plan, right? Um, I have to look to see where it is in the documents, but it is called the front of it is called offensive game plan. So I would search those keywords. Sweet. So thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being on. I appreciate Bye. you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Melissa. Bye.